Today, I'm gonna ask you one of the biggest questions of your life. What is the best Pokemon game ever? And I'm talking about every type of Pokemon game. I'm talking about side games. I'm talking about the main games, everything. So go ahead and get your answer in your head now. And I'll tell you the real answer at the end of this video. But before we get rolling, I wanna say what constitutes what is a good game? In Pokemon standpoint, is it the amount of sales the game has? Maybe the amount of Pokemon in the game, period. So because there are so many factors, we can't pinpoint what is the best metric. However, thanks to Big Dad Google over here, there is one thing that we can pinpoint. But to find out what that one thing is, stick to the end of the video. And finally, subscribe, check out the Patreon, all that other good stuff for more Pokemon content. Let's go ahead and get rolling. Now, because Pokemon is a 20 year old series, there's so many fans coming around at different times. Maybe you were lucky to be around in the 1990s, and back then you got to see Pokemon start with no color. Or you can be one of those new Zoomers and just saw Pikachu for the first time in Pokemon Go. Regardless of wherever you started, Pokemon pulled you in at some point, and I'm very positive that you're happy Pokemon pulled you in. But the truth is, you will have a bias to where you start. You see, these Pokemon games are not made equal. And now in this new day and age, Pokemon likes to hinder these games. But because all these Pokemon games came out in different times, they all have different positives. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of them. For those of you who picked the more Pokemon the better, you probably picked Ultra Sun and Moon. These two games had a little over 800 Pokemon total. And mind you, this was Gen 7. We are currently on Gen 9. Just to give a small comparison, if Sun and Moon had 800, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet only have 400 right now. And the overall series is called Gotta Catch Em All. So if you believe more Pokemon is better, then you would pick sun and moon but maybe you're sane and you hate paying extra money to make the original game better you see game freak did some slimy stuff and to get those 800 pokemon you had to have pokebank now you see pokebank is basically going to ask you to get pokemon from the other games and then trade them over and the worst part about it is it's for a fee. So if that's a no-go for you, maybe you went and picked Pokemon Sword and Shield. This game has 651 Pokemon available, but that's with an expansion pass. Now it depends what you value. This is a collect them all game, but there are people out there that do not want to catch them all. You just want to get your six Pokemon and never catch a Pokemon again. So let's lead into the next group, the people that don't want to catch them all, but they want to challenge. It's been a known fact for quite some time that Pokemon games are too easy. But if you pick Pokemon Black and White 2, you probably picked it because it's a challenge. Matter of fact, it's one of the only Pokemon games that you can change the difficulty. Now, unfortunately, this is some type of back-end way to do it using the key system. The game will ask you to do a lot of different steps to get this key system working. But regardless, if you love this game so much, maybe you have the time to complete it and then go challenge it. But if you don't want to do all that work, at least there's an extra in-game component. With the Black Tower and the White Tree Hollow, you get extra fights. And these just aren't any fights. You get trainers that have legendaries with the level around 80 and in some Pokemon games you're lucky to find even level 50s so maybe these big boy challenges are for you and this is why you would pick Pokemon black 2 and white 2 but we all know that there's another group that started it all and we got to keep y'all sacred because whenever Charmander comes out you are there I'm talking about the OG lovers the ones that love Pokemon red and blue the love for this series had to start somewhere and that's where you guys come up now I'm not saying the original series had very good in-game mechanics because it was kind of bad but a period it always has a base and Game Freak knows it too. We can tell by how many times they try to sell Charizard to new people. And I mean heck, Pikachu's still the mascot and that's a Gen 1 Pokemon. And while this metric can change here pretty soon, Pokemon Gen 1 has probably the best sales period. But of course the price of a dollar then was different than now. But nonetheless, Kanto is still the OG and it had to start from somewhere. Now of course there's plenty of other Pokemon main game series we can still talk about. But I don't want to forget about the side games as well. Probably the most impactful game of them all is Pokemon Go. If you were born before this game came out, you should remember what it did to people. This almost felt like the Messiah was coming back. Everybody was outside catching Pokemon with their mobile phones. This game was a free to download game. Nobody was safe. And the good thing is Game Freak didn't care about how old you are, how long you've been in the series. It was going to make you go outside and do something with this game. And matter of fact, Pokemon Go is going so strong right now, they're still adding in other generations. So maybe you did fall off on Pokemon Go, but it doesn't mean Pokemon Go fell off but alas there's so many other games I could talk about Pokemon is such a huge series I could go on and on but at the beginning of this video I told you to put your favorite game in mind and hopefully you had an actual reason as to why this is your favorite game could it be a personal reason maybe it's a stat to it and the good news is you're not wrong it's an opinion but unfortunately Mr. Google
Google does not work on opinions. Now going off the metric of pure searches and positive feedback for this game, the best Pokemon game to the people right now is Pokemon Gold and Silver. Now this is not my personal favorite, but you cannot diminish what it has done. This game introduced shiny Pokemon, and you still see people talking about shiny Pokemon every single day. That aspect came from Pokemon Gold and Silver. People also ask every generation, can my Pokemon follow me? Well, besides Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Gold and Silver are the first games that implemented that and did it correctly. This set of games brought so many mechanics that are still being used to this day. Now, of course, there is no right or wrong answer to this question. Pokemon will continue to evolve and grow larger and larger. But just remember to pay homage to the games that paved the way for the future. And with that, you've made it to the end of this video. I also want to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you. And with Christmas around the corner, you better start getting me my gifts. You better sub. <laughs> But no, for real, I do want to say thank y'all for all the love and support. I really do appreciate it. And pushing into the next year, I want to say I hope that we're putting out better and more content for you guys. So finally, thank y'all for everything. I really do love y'all. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good holidays. Take care.